Whoa. That looks like mm. that's cliffy. Like cliff. That's very cliffy. Yeah. There's not much. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a nice pair of gorgia. Ooh, we're getting a few. It's a very floofy paragorgia, if it is. Yeah, it oh my is goodness. It's kind of floofy. <laughs> it is not, yeah. <clears throat> All the polyps are out. Can zoom in, video. Fill the screen with red. It was a polyp shot. Yes. Basket stars. So, this is another heterocone. It's a big cram for a little sponge. Yeah, very crammed. Yeah, I think that's another one of the Paralomus crabs. Yeah. Paralomus multispina. We can just zoom in on the base right between those two corals. Sure. Well, we've got a shelf sponge there on the left and another little, that's a pronoid coral on the right, down between those. That's what you wanted to see, is that correct? Yeah. Could it be a giant grenadier? That's actually the common name of one species. Coming right on in. They got creative with that one. Contact. Right. <laughs> So, uh, the breeze seems to be blowing to the east here along the cliff. So, and that's the way we want to go to, isn't it? Yes. Figures. So, we're go a bit. Your little shrimp is hanging on. Yeah, is he like dodging out of his the house. current? like coming out of your house in a hurricane. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of current, that's just what got us. We can zoom out. You see how this one has a different rim than that last barrel we were looking at? Not with dirty. With the brown mm -hmm. fringe at the top. Yeah, so the way the you can trip. Yeah, little yeah. thing, uh, little group <laughs> hanging out in there. All right, got some good shots. They they make cool little apartments. You never know what's going to be in a what in the a sponge like? they provide. I think that might be a rough tail skate. Really? Wow. You can see all the spines. And thorns, he's got spines, many rows of spines on both wings, and then all down his back. So that looks like a grooved tanner crab. Uh, oh, these are tanner crabs. These are tanner crabs. Um, maybe not grooved. He's something different. He's got a bit. His rostrum's a bit different. Like they're in a waterfall. Total waterfall. <clears throat> Can't go chasing. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back in the box there. Let's go. Uh, oh, this is going to be kind of a rough landing. Sorry. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, look at that coral for a minute. <laughs> Uh, it's like a tiny shrimp you can see hanging wow. onto the coral. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, hey little guy. Super tiny. Oh, oh, look, so like a little guy. I keep giving them all genders, the little guy, but pretty... they're hermaphroditic, <laughs> some of them. <laughs> the camera's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is.
Beautiful. Thank you for the zoom. Watch the sky. Yep. Looks like it has an isopod on it or something on its uh, dorsal side. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, yeah. small critter. That white mass. So there are actually two species of thorny heads that are found off the west coast here. There are long spine thorny heads and short spine thorny heads. And so man of it if you want. The feature there that you can see on this guy is the uh, third dorsal spine. On the long spines, it is much higher than the rest of the dorsal fin, and he's going to turn profile just so we can see that. The, uh, this one digging in a little. Did not fly away with the current. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Holding on. Yes, please, on the Zoom. And these Paragorgia are so floofy. Yeah, so all floofy. the polyps out. I'm not used to seeing them all so passionately out. <laughs> There's just so much food floating by. I mean, what are they going to stay okay, home? Just we're good. And very knobbly, too. Usually the stalks of Paragorgia are quite spindly. So yeah, this is a different morphology for sure. He's going to do a flyby for us. Yeah, I love <laughs> So beautiful. Make a great gift. <laughs> 